Today our topic is a multi-label classification tagging tool for item classification in question repositories. Uh, authors are Irad Gizalova, MA in Tesol at Uson University, and me, Arthur Ganeev, PhD. Uh, actually, I'm her husband, and I am in charge of programming mostly. So let's move on and discuss the rationale of this project. So as you already know, I guess that uh, various types of assessments require uh, creation of question papers. So and uh, it can be quite a burden to create a large amount of question papers and it can be tedious and time consuming. And also the developer of question papers he has to be quite experienced in composing this type of uh, documents so and actually uh, because of that a uh, large variety of applications appear to help with that issue so and Basically, these types of applications can be classified to manual, semi-automated and automated. So man manual is traditional, so, so fully non-automated way to create question papers. So, and it's the most time consuming and boring, I guess, and tedious. So, but you don't have, uh, you don't need anything to create that. So semi-automated tool uh, still require human support and as it can be um, guessed from its name, automated uh, can produce question papers uh, without any additional assistance. So but in spite of the abundance of automated application and tools, there are still limitations. And let's jump to the another uh, important uh, notion it's question repository or qr it's a collection of questions uh, which can be used to create question repository so and uh, for example many uh, applications like moodle they can support question repositories in order to help uh, teachers to create question papers so, and uh, actually, uh, we analyzed uh, literature on that topic, and we found out that, uh, in general, uh, when we are talking about automatic generation of question papers, uh, usually these instruments support uh, four groups of tags. So and. Uh, topic or content uh, classification which we are interested in and also question type for example open question or closed question cognitive level and difficulty level so other types are out of scope of our project so we are mainly interested in topic or content classification so and uh, basically uh, tagging is I think is is the synonym of classification is just putting some special label uh, to the content of the question and after that uh, the question paper developer uh, would be able to choose or combine uh, different questions according to its content so and uh, we are going to implement multi-label classification algorithm because uh, our idea is to put not only just one tag or only one classification label but uh, we want to develop a tool that would be able to put several labels to the one Question. So it's called multi-label classification and uh, it's quite advanced classification algorithm. Okay, let's move on. So, and uh, before applying any classification task, uh, the main problem is to obtain, obtain data. So we were thinking about where we can get data to uh, 
like to teach our algorithm to analyze its efficiency and we checked uh, several websites for Q&A English forums where uh, users of these forums actually ask questions about uh, different aspects of English language. So I guess that most people uh, on these forums they are like language learners but we don't know for sure. So and the most like uh, large and popular forum for that task is actually EnglishStackExchange.com so and let's discuss more about classification so uh, because it's quite important uh, notion here so basically classification uh, can be binary so for example uh, quite well known uh, task to classify uh, emails so basically uh, classification algorithm can decide uh, either this email is spam or not spam so basically we have just two uh, binary classes that's why it's called binary classification this is quite simple task because we have only two uh, well-defined classes so another example is uh, multi-class classification so like uh, we see on this example a picture of a dog an algorith algorithm actually can say is, uh, is it a dog or cat or horse fish but it's only one option right so it can be dog and a cat uh, simultaneously so that's why it's uh, called multi-class classification but for our purpose we cannot use these algorithms because we need multi-label classification and this is the example of one picture but we have two objects here like a cat a cat and a bird so algorithm should be able to determine and classify these two classes or in other words labels so this is the most advanced and complicated task classification so and let's come back to the uh, data collection for algorithm learning so uh, most libraries uh, they need data to be specially prepared and extracted and be stored in a specific format or uh, in our case it's comma separated values text file and in order to get these values from this forum uh, it was necessary to develop special uh, application so and how to extract data from stack english stack exchange.com so as you see uh, there is a list of forums and each forum uh, each item in this forum has its own tags up to five tags so and if you click this uh, title of the question you can see the body of the question so the task is like to extract title to extract uh, body of the question and also extract uh, its um, tags which will be later used for uh, algorithm teaching and uh, checking of its accuracy so let's talk about again about participants uh, we are not sure who are the participants because actually this forum uh, does not require people to uh, disclose the identity so some of them have names and uh, like uh, their location set but most people uh, don't care about that thing so we are not sure who are the uh, the huge variety of these users but for our purpose is not that important so after uh, application of the first instrument uh, which is a python application we actually have these uh, we have a library of questions collected and stored on the hard disk and the data is collected and stored in a simple manner so it's a 
text file where we have title, tags collected for this question, question body and uh, its address URL. And uh, this tool was developed as Python application and actually it's possible for everyone to use this application because it's published here on a uh, programmer social network called github so and everyone can download and try this application and actually it's possible to uh, store and save data from English Stack Exchange in similar manner as we did. So collected data can be opened uh, in a table processor for example in Excel so and you see they are stored in, uh, as a table data and actually it's quite easy to understand what is stored and uh, after collection of data the next step is to uh, analyze what is inside and it's necessary to understand uh, the portion of text uh, which we have in this data so and also their frequency so we just uh, analyzed uh, 103 most frequent tag tags because all other tags are quite rare so as you see uh, there is a quite uh, interesting distribution so it's not like um, symmetric or because some tags are quite frequent and other tags are quite rare. So and uh, after collecting this data we found out that we have uh, almost 1000 separate tags and most of them were quite rare and did not uh, did not seem seem to be quite useful. So that's why we decided like to focus on uh, around 100 most common tags and we decided to reject uh, very rare and low frequent tags and also the next thing is that actually many tags uh, had quite similar meaning so we decided to group them and after grouping we like were able sort of condense the number of tags and only 72 separate tags left and this task was done manually and after like uh, setting the new tags we, were, we, we had to update the initial data set collected data with new updated and grouped tags so this is the example of grouping so if you take a look so this tag column means the original tags and group tag means the like quite obvious group tags so and with uh, with green color uh, we highlighted the tags with uh, si quite similar meaning so and we just substituted this tag with this tag and for example we substituted word choice tag with meaning tag and so on. So after that we were able to reduce the number of tags. So and here's the uh, distribution of tags in the updated dataset. So as you see it's not quite uh, symmetrical or even for example meaning uh, is very like unbalanced. So and other tags they are, uh, they are not that frequent. So, and uh, the next stage is to uh, prepare the dataset for algorithm learning. So, and also the task is to uh, determine which actually algorithm to use and which library to use because like developing this algorithm from scratch without a library is quite a uh, hard task. So, and we decided to uh, focus on SkyKit multi-learn library, which is quite uh, well-established and well-known. 
and uh, we pre uh, prepared the data and uh, first of all it's necessary to split the data into two parts one is like for training or learning it's called training set and another part is to check the uh, efficiency of learning and it's called like uh, uh, check data set so and it's like remaining 20 percent of data and uh, in order to apply this library it's necessary to prepare it again so and this is quite tricky tricky task because uh, actually uh, algorithms they don't work with uh, words uh, all algorithms worked with uh, numbers so and these uh, tags they need to be binarized uh, it means that uh, for example it's better to explain just one example here we have American English tag for this question so and if this tag uh, appears in the question uh, this column should have one and if uh, this tag for example ambiguity uh, does not appear in this question it uh, th the value should be zero so in such a manner uh, so uh, algorithm would be able to classify using uh, question title and question body so basically it means that we just uh, transferred tags from textual form to the column fall form uh, another important step is uh, removing stop words and stemming so stop words actually there are the words which are not um, like bearing important meaning and usually it's articles uh, prepositions and other things and also uh, other things necessary to be done uh, for example stemming stemming it means that only the root of the world of the word is left and all other uh, parts are removed for example amusing amusement and amused the stem or root of the world would be amuse so the only part should should left so here's the example how one question was uh, stemmed and uh, like cleared from all unnecessary information uh, this text looks strange but anyway for the algorithm it works much better than original text another important uh, thing is to transform actually question into uh, numerical form uh, it, it would be too much detail to explain this algorithm it's well established tf idf algorithm to do so uh, it just counts the frequencies of words in the data set according to its uh, uh, meaning so and this algorithm was also applied and uh, finally uh, we ch we selected the specific kind of algorithm from the library uh, skykit multilearn library it's called logistic regression algorithm with one versus uh, rest classifiers so and uh, as a result of this uh, application of this algorithm and check on the test data set we were able to determine that the uh, final accuracy is around 98 percent so it means that uh, predicted tags or labels were correct in 98% of cases so and uh, to wrap up uh, we created a multi-label classification tool that can be used to tag questions in question repository and accuracy was quite good for for this tool and uh, 
by having lost metrics, uh, we got 98% of correctly predicted labels. And as a future work, uh, we think that classification accuracy is still not perfect and we can improve it later. And after the finalizing of this algorithm, we, we are going to publish it uh, on GitHub in similar manner as we did for instrument one for downloaded English Stack Exchange code. That's all. Thank you for listening.